Epping. Well, this is <laughs> this is pretty neat. Oh man. Hey, uh, you know what? Charcoal, we're... Br- charcoal burnets. That'd be a great like girl like band name called it like a doo-wop group or something no 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 it's like a, it's like um alias with jennifer gardner yeah jennifer electra gardner yeah and it's like um one of her alter egos is i'm i'm charcoal burnett <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. but what's really funny are you rolling it, okay it, yeah what's really funny is that everybody believes it Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. By the way, I know who's an alias. By the way, you're like with Jer- Jennifer Gardner. Well, Every- see, you said everyone Jerry. knows that. At first, you said Jerry. Did I just now? Yeah, you were just oh, fucking okay. up. It I was fucked okay. up. Yeah. Jerry just, Lee Lewis. What's up, guys? <clears throat> Sit in the chat here. Brought to you every Thursday. Uh, I'm James, and I'm joined in the studio with John and Jash with an A. <laughs> This feels good. I I have a huge case of the giggles right now. <laughs> Our host, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The host Giggling. with the most. <laughs> John, do you have a song? A song prepared? Yeah, do you have a song for tonight, us? Jan? <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> so yeah. Our, oh, you're still going. <laughs> Cinema shit. <laughs> okay. Cine, cine, and our. Okay. Cinema, cinema right. shit. <laughs> cine, cine, <laughs> I'm going to go get cine, something to drink. Shit. Right That's back. a good idea. This song goes on for about 40 minutes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's just. It's a repeat. It's a Pete and repeat joke. Okay. God. All right. So tonight. Uh, or not tonight. This week. We watched. Um, we didn't do a, a shit show showdown again. We just watched two movies. John, you selected Hero. Mm. And Rachel, our producer, selected Child's Play, which were two, two of the t- yeah. Go ahead. Two, two of the most opposite <laughs> movies, by the way. You know what? We could do a cinema showdown or whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I definitely have a favorite. I definitely have a favorite for the night. Me too. I definitely yeah. have a favorite. So I'm eager to hear y'all's. John, why don't you get us started in Hero? You were the one that picked this. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. uh, give us a little rundown real quick. Not, right. not with The Rock. <laughs> okay, so um, it stars The Rock and Sean William Scott. Mm-hmm. And uh, Sean William Scott is a nameless uh, warrior who has th- been training a, a sword technique for 10 years wait, while wait. The Rock is the emperor. I think we something happened. <laughs> <laughs> what? You, you jiggling your hand? <laughs> like, like, wait, hold on. Like you're a scientist. <laughs> what? Whoa, 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 hold on. <laughs> No, but, uh, okay, what did we okay, watch? Okay, okay. Now I'm confused. In all, in all seriousness. In all seriousness. <laughs> all seriousness, yeah. Okay, in all, seri- God, in all seriousness, a it show. is a um, all shy film, which is like a martial arts film. <laughs> so, you say something different every time. I can't pronounce it right. Oh, okay. I bastardize it every time. At least I'm not saying it's Wuxia. Not gonna help it's like all shy. All shy. <laughs> It's a weird, like... It's a oh, sh- It's all oh, sh- <laughs> Oh, a- shit! <laughs> you anyway, see that movie? Anyways, it's a Chinese martial arts film. Yeah. But yeah. it's very stylized martial arts in the sense that everything is done with symbolism and artistic. And, like, they almost, like, dance when they fight. Yeah. So... It's like yeah. ballet. Anyways, Jet Li plays a nameless wanderer. Or not wanderer, but he's just he's a nameless. He doesn't have a name. His character is literally nameless. Very much like uh what is it? A fistful of dollars, man with no yeah, name. Yeah. You know? And then oh, yeah, and then right. um Django, uh the man with no name. It's right. They all okay. it. Yeah. I thought so. his name was Django, but, <laughs> <laughs> but No, oh, okay. his name is Unchained. Guess I haven't seen it. His name is Unchained. I mean, no, I've seen it like hundred times. <laughs> Anyways, um, so he has killed three of the biggest threats uh, to assassinate the emperor, three hu- major assassins from the uh, Zhang Empire. Because at this point, uh, the the China is not united; it's in six different bit major empires. Right. And so he, he, the uh, he nameless hero has killed these the three assassins, and so because he's done that, he's given he's granted permission to come closer to the emperor and drink with him as kind of like a ceremonial thing mm-hmm. and like he's given land and money and stuff too but i mean it turns out the main reason he's there is to assassinate the uh, emperor yeah so he yeah. needs to get within 10 paces to use his 
special technique. But it's told from the th- from three different perspectives. The first being the lie that the hero wants the emperor to believe. The second being what the emperor believes to be true. And then the third, obviously, being the truth. Yeah. Which I thought was really cool. True. Yeah. And then e- and then each one of those is told with a different color, color scheme. The lie being told uh, under red. The emperor's perspective being told under blue. Mm-hmm. And the truth being told under white. And then the past from broken swords perspective being told under green right. yeah 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 that the um, pretty... which broken that's, sword that's for base... those at home is one of the assassins that uh get that the hero kills mm-hmm. quote unquote cause... Quote, yeah, quote, quote. right yeah yeah and that's that's like the that's yeah that's the plot yeah yeah be... <laughs> Which is cheer, uh, dummy t- <laughs> <laughs> Usually we like struggle. We're like, I okay, know, right? what was like, that again? And it's like, <laughs> John just comes down and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, words. <laughs> yeah, nailed it. We did. I talked through some of this. Um, so we there all was did. things that I missed. Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, I mean, but to I, be to be I fair, gathered. I had watched this last week by myself. So right. Yeah. Oh, you really fucking cheater! Get well, out. Okay. Get Leave. <laughs> 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 Can I at least get keep okay. my lunchables? No! Uh, I leave! The fridge. You can't leave! Just... But, but it's got like pizza and it's, I don't... Like, it's like it's got little cheese. Dude, things. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> leave, you beautiful giant! Okay. God. God. Yeah, Hero sucked. <laughs> it, was, it was picked by that guy. You son of a bitch! <laughs> I'll, I'll kill you! Oh, he's got I'll a kill knife. You. Oh, he's got a knife. <laughs> Uh, why did I go straight to a knife? Oh, he's got he's got a tiny race car. <laughs> he's just bashing his and, eye sockets in. And scene. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Skit over. <laughs> Skit over. <laughs> We'd like to thank the uh, community the theater Academy. players. Oh, yeah, that too. That was one for the box. <laughs> it was a perfect skit. <laughs> Oh. It felt like you know the there show was a more... shambles. <laughs> it was like it was like there no, was it's, more it's than called cinema shat, more than not shambles in the room. You know, it felt it felt like there was more going. On. I think this yeah. needs to be yeah. this needs to be addressed. It's called cinema shat, right. not shambles, my good man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish the take, listeners take your could have saw your face there. <laughs> Go, but yeah. So uh, yeah, where the fuck are we? Hero, oh, yeah, hero, yeah, yeah, with Jet Li. I remember seeing this in high school. And that is the worst age to watch this movie because <laughs> so it's like true. it's a really slow and like beautiful like and um, like you said ballet like type movie. So mm-hmm. I I got it because I liked Jet Li films at the time. I yeah. was expecting this like martial arts yeah, this actiony. That's what I went into it expecting as and well. And then he went and right, did his yeah. dances with wolves, and you were like bored to tears. Oh fuck yeah! <laughs> yeah. No, I remember getting through it and just fucking hating it. Because I thought he was going to fight the Emperor at the end. When yeah. I, I'm talking about when I was a kid. and uh, I never saw And he it. just... Uh, spoilers. Sorry. He just Sorry. dies. So um, <laughs> I was yeah. so fucking mad. Yeah, but I was... N- I'm sorry. I'm oh just, no, no, I'm, it's cool. I was just watching it today. Like I was like, wow, this is really great. I fucking, I loved it. It was really good. Sorry, yeah, it was a good. So many film. things you said. I was like, oh, I know. Oh, d- <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't mean to keep interrupting you. No, that was no, just I don't purely care. out of no, excitement. So good. Yeah, I, I expected him to be alive. I don't know. Right. Like, yeah. He just got like essentially gunned down. Seems yeah. far away from the mic. Oh, I'm I, sorry. I'm sorry. I, I think this. the <laughs> proper phrase is he got pwned. <laughs> I think that's what the kids are saying. Uh, he got leap pwned. <laughs> right, exactly. It was a, it was a sorry, si- John. Is that's... what they call a gamer move. Yeah, right, noob exactly. tit sucker. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd God. that come from? <laughs> we're dating, we're noob dating. tit sucker. <laughs> <laughs> Implying that it's a ch- it's a baby. Oh, it's a little baby. It's a, it's a, a little baby. Ba- a baby. It's a little baby. Uh, I was a little baby gonna cry. <laughs> okay, next movie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I'm having a good time. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, me too. All right, um, uh, the sorry, what did you th- what did you guys think? Of the <laughs> film? I thought you're good. Uh, I thought it was beautiful. I uh, I never saw the film. I never saw the film. Let me get a little closer. Let me get how close to me. I actually never saw the uh, film. I saw the the trailer uh, on TV, and I was like, hard pass. 
<laughs> um, Word. <laughs> um, I totally get that. Yeah. Definitely not up my alley. Uh, I also didn't watch Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon when it came out in high school. I was like, hard pass. Yeah, um, I, same thing. Yeah. But so I got into Crouching Tiger later in life. <laughs> James just farted. <laughs> mm. Um, I got into Crouching Tiger later in life. He start he started just smoking cigarettes, and then he moved on to reefers, and then before you know it, he was watching Ang Lee films. Yeah. <laughs> the whole the, the the incredible Hulk. the Hulk. Yeah. You Hulk. wouldn't like me when I'm Ang Lee. <laughs> <laughs> That's a James McKernan joke. Copyright. <laughs> I just died in the microphone. Okay, so um, so I had passed on those movies, and then I saw Crouching Tiger, and so I was extremely interested in seeing this because I've gotten really into martial arts recently. Uh, I think it's an interesting g- genre and very beautiful and how it can be completely different, even though it all falls within the same tier of martial arts. Like, they can do it differently. It's really amazing. Yeah, and, definitely. Um, watching this, it was like watching um, just like – a play like the way they danced and everything and interlude hey guys john here just letting you know that uh we had some technical difficulties so i'm adding in this little interlude part and for your listening pleasure i will now perform hero be- by nas at least the chorus because we're watching the movie hero do you get it yeah it's easy it's, it's, uh, it goes, yeah chain gleaming switching lanes to cedar Hate him or love him for the same reason. Fresh. Can't leave it. The game needs him. Plus the people need someone to believe in. Yes. So in God's son we trust. Cause they know I'ma give them what they want. They looking for a hero. We watched in tar. Now we're talking about hero. Alright, we're going back now. Bye. So um, I was very excited to watch this because John was recommending it. And um, I liked getting getting older and seeing more films. I realized this is uh, something that I wanted to see. So when we watched it and watching all the colors, the way they use color to tell the story, the way they used um, the camera to tell story, they even used black and white. With all the color that was in the film, they even squeezed in black and white. And that was to do a imaginary fight scene within a lie. Yeah, like right, think about yeah. that. Like that the guys playing in, the guitar. That was in the first. Story. Not the guitar, but like the, an Asian instrument. Yeah, the Asian. Me. The, the string it in. The, away. the ch- ancient Chinese stringed instrument. We would bastardize the name, even if we knew the name. Yeah, yeah, it's true. beautiful. It adds to the uh, the rain, like th- the sounds play as if like raindrops falling on notes. Yeah, because mean mind you, to set the scene, there is rain, rain falling this entire falling time. On everything, and it's it's wonderful. Lots of Lots of um, vertical line work, like moving vertical lines. So you're constantly seeing things drop and yeah, uh, in the frame, and it looks beautiful. And then the wire, or not the wire, the instrument, bing, like one of the strings pops, yeah, and, and then the, reality snaps in. Yeah, and, and that's when that's when we get the instant the attack. kill or whatnot. And I'm pretty sure it's all the strings that pop. Yeah, yeah. like they just boom. You know, and it I was love really this, good. I love the lead up to that because they they fight initially before they have the, the the dream fight, if you will. And as they're fighting, the old man is going to leave, and they stop what they're doing and they're like, "Can you play us another song?" Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then they it remind me of like a western fight. or something. Yeah, yeah. The uh... well, aren't westerns just ripped off of samurai films? Yeah, the, yeah, a lot, lot of, a lot them, of are. them are. Yeah, yeah. I like it. like for sure a lot the of the, good um, ones. the uh the trilogy, the Fistful of Dollars trilogy yeah. is based off of Kurosawa films. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The uh um but no, I think that was my favorite scene when the fights was it Broken Sword in that first No, fight he fights Sky the first time. Yeah, Sky has oh. the uh the spear that just whips that around. That was Sky. That's, yeah. It looks like okay, a bamboo right. stick. It's the, just um, but, but that was fucking awesome because it's like like less is more like they don't they do have the initial encounter yeah and they are such masters of fighting yeah that they are just meditating on all the mm-hmm. moves that they could do it's mm-hmm. like chess like when you're watching people play chess mentally 
you know, in like Sherlock it's, Holmes when they're fighting and they're like they're using their wits to play chess, but then also make their moves in fighting one another. Yeah, like and, boxing. It, right. That's, yeah. That's a perfect analogy because Guy starts that scene playing the Chinese ver- oh, variation yeah, that's of right, chess. That's right. <clears throat> no, which, yeah, they're I playing Go. Yeah. 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 Forgot about that. Yeah. But and the pieces are in black and white. So to see the imagery in black and white, it's absolutely fitting. But yeah, they, they're they're like meditating on the fight. They're both imagining like how the fight would play out. Yeah. And then ends up the fight is just like this simple. Like, yeah. It's a it's a real keystroke. Quick. Like boom. Like, and I knew it was gonna happen like that, and I was not disappointed. Not disappointed. Me neither. Yeah. Like, I loved it. It was well executed. Like I could be expecting it, and then go, oh well. They didn't. That they wasn't didn't good. Fight. Right, yeah, that wasn't yeah. that good. Like, I was expecting it to end real quick, just like that. But then the delivery was so great because, like, he was whipping the rain. Yeah, and he threw Dude. his blade. And, like, yeah, that looks the good, drops. man. Through the raindrops. Yeah. What year did this come out? Two thousand two. Yeah, two thousand two. No yeah. shit, that yeah. looks yeah. good for two thousand two. Yeah, I, really I could tell it. it was CG. I think. Yeah, but it it looked great. One it thing I noticed about the uh, the cinematography and how they tell stories, it's. It's very much like uh, anime, like when they they'll show just the the tip of a sword or the tip of a spear. And there's I mean, it's no not action. like anime. Yeah. No, no, I'm saying like. Well, in it's a not sense like anime, anime is just anime moving. Is I mean, you said videos. it's it's like anime. You just said that. <laughs> Sorry. So. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> anime itself is like just an, a, a a cartoon Japanese cartoons though. So that's like being like, oh well. No, it's not movies. <laughs> yeah. Like it's there there's many subgenres. Yeah, totally. Yeah. But I meant like um the insert shots of the weapons, like rain would just be falling on them, but they wouldn't be moving, right? Yeah. So picture that as a storyboard frame. Mm. Yeah. And then okay. Anime is just moving storyboards. So it's just it's just an animated storyboard. And so whenever they would do these insert shots of like just the blade right when they're fighting it's just the spear and rain just falling on it and then it's like a close-up of their face yeah i never you know considered I mean? that like yeah, it was it just like ins- like there's all this motion going on and fighting and then it would just be a quick frame of just the tip of the sword not moving just catching rain and it's right, like yeah just these small details of everything taking in the moment and i that's one thing about like asian uh filmmaking whether it's japanese or chinese they take so much uh, account to the the detail of setting up like mm-hmm. a fight like there's just yeah. something about it like a lot I, of uh long moments yeah you're like, getting to know everything intimately about the atmosphere yeah <laughs> like a, a second could last like you know f- a few minutes yeah yeah like, yeah yeah um especially in uh the, the the animes i've seen but is is most uh animes based on a manga first um, yes. you know of there's a lot of I figured, a lot yeah in general but there's there's a lot that uh, some of them are standalone but the, but the majority of them are based on an, a manga or a visual novel which or not visual novel I'll, well yeah visual novel which is like a choose your own adventure game essentially and that, then there's also yeah it's a thing in japan and um light Fucking and then light life, novels huh? <laughs> choose, choose your own manga adventure Pretty yeah. much, yeah. There, and then, and then, light just novels. Just sign me up. Sign me. <laughs> Sorry. Light okay. novels, Take which are money. essentially just like novels. Okay. Just yeah. regularly reading. Yeah. <laughs> Is this the line for the manga adventure? <laughs> <laughs> the uh, see, so yeah, I think that was my favorite scene. If we're getting to that. Yeah, section. let's get into that. John, what's your favorite scene of the movie? Is um, it your pick? My favorite scene is the scene during the Emperor's retelling. Where uh, he, Snow and the nameless, not Snow, Broken Sword and the nameless hero are fighting at Snow's gravesite, which is this really beautiful, serene lake on the mountains kind oh, of thing. Yeah, yeah. Where it's, and it has the very small, like, gazebo kind of thing. That, I don't know the technical term for there, but it's, you know, ancient Chinese design. And that's where her body is rest laid to for the. Oh, like, on the pond. Commemoration thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the yeah, pond. yeah. yeah. It's where they and, put her um, corpse. <laughs> yeah. So they are. Fi- they're f- so the two of them are fighting Beetlejuice, almost. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. And, and, in, and in this story, they are all um, like everybody is honorable in, in the emperor's retelling of no, the story. No, abso- absolutely. Compl- and I feel like that really goes with the blue color scheme, like how with the red, how it felt like oh, you have this jealousy and the, this overly passionate kind of thing. The blue is just like this honor and like they're 
they're noble, even though they're out to assassinate him. Mm-hmm. In his version, they're noble. And so they are, they're, oh, they're, yeah. they're having this ceremonial fight, if you will, even though they knew that he had to kill Snow because that right. was so he could get to where he needed to get. So they're having this ceremonial fight, and as they're doing it, they're fighting on the water. But at, in between strikes, they drop down to the water and they drop their swords in the water as if they're painters uh, clearing their brush. And then they continue their fight. Yeah. And yeah, then, and, that and, was cool. And the fight continues up until uh he st- he stops his sword and it causes some water or like a ripple like they're shooting water back and forth with at one another and the 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 water breaks on broken sword's sword and it falls and hits uh snow's body on the cheek so broken sword stops everything he's doing and go goes to her goes to her uh, body to wipe her cheek from the from the, from the wa- uh, water droplet and as the nameless hero starts starting his attack towards it he realizes what's going on and pulls up at the last second yeah and like completely like Dude. just yeah uh eats it but it's just that was like that was such a powerful and like emotional scene yeah yeah man like it's it really is interesting um i can totally see people like watching this and just not like grasping um is like those a, little things. Is it like, that a shame? Yeah. It is. A I shame, can't imagine yeah. watching a film like that. Like just going like, why is everything all red? You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Like annoyed like, by it. Yeah. Right. I right. love that we're all passionately like, look at all. I know the that's really cool. Red. That like, all three of us really like. like and then the blue. Kind of the blue was so cold. It yeah. felt like ash. It felt like early yeah, it was morning. Like cobalt like, yeah. blue. The sun hasn't even broke across the horizon yet. It's just but it's y- so cold. It was beautiful. Yeah, yeah. The uh um no, I completely agree. But the uh like the the honor stuff. Like you can see someone like like why didn't he just fucking stab him when he was mm-hmm. wiping the water? Why is he wiping the water? You can see someone like thinking like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's that wouldn't be like the honorable thing to do. Yeah. And they're all about that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you put your mind in there and you, you like, you agree with it. Um, you, uh, like, and I, I'm not saying, like, uh, like, someone that wouldn't pick up on that is, like, you know, stupid or anything. But it's just, it's just not something that they, like. Yeah, and- not they everybody just think reads they're, in the yeah, movies. like the characters being stupid or something. But. Yeah, why did he attack him? Yeah, like meanwhile, he could have killed him right there. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Like, meanwhile, had he uh, killed him or attacked him, we all would have been like, "Well, that's bullshit." Like he's yeah, a noble he's a person. Dick. He's like, yeah. yeah, he wouldn't stab a man in the back. Like that's not the type of character he would be. It was it especially because this was the emperor's interpretation. Yeah, right. And the, and yeah. the emperor, in spite even... of having a lot of like bloodshed. Invo- involved with his rule everything that he spoke about was about unifying the nation yeah like he cared about making his country better he didn't care about pure personal conquest or personal goals or anything like that like he was a very selfless being yeah sorry and, and that Just yeah that. like <laughs> that's so, I was... so so you think of this story from the perspective of this very like honorable noble person that's why they they acted out so so honorably and so know, noble yeah. in that variation. Yeah, like nameless, he went there, and he got completely flipped around. Right, yeah. he went there with intentions. Yeah, to complete murk him. intention to kill him. Yeah, and then he after the like his retelling with yeah. the blue color scheme and then also them the, talking, the, the, um, learning about each other. The calligraphy that Broken Sword wrote in the sand. Oh right, at end, yeah, at the that ending, but that, but that that is what started it, and I feel like that that catalyzed it, and then speaking with the emperor is what really made him be like, all right, this is a good man, he genuinely wants what's best for the country. Yeah, that's true. Uh, calligraphy is a great thing to bring up because I've noticed in a um, a lot of movies they're they're doing calligraphy, and it's like uh, it's like an allegory or a, like a like a. Yeah, like an allegory to actual like swordsmanship. Yes. Yeah, they go hand in hand. Yeah, so if you're if you're like a like samurai doing calligraphy, like if you master like brush strokes, it's the same thing as mastering oh, like cool. swordsmanship. So that's always really cool to see because yeah, you know I drive a Hummer, 
So when I, <laughs> you know, I, I salute my flag every morning. So yeah. when I see that kind of shit, mm-hmm. I just kind of get pissed. You know, it's <laughs> like, what are these fucking assholes doing? It's just writing. Who gives a shit? I'm pissed. Oh man, I'm that, mad as hell. That's a perfect. That's a that's a perfect uh, segue for another scene that I absolutely loved in the first retelling in the lie story, the red red tale. How when when they're shooting when they're firing the arrows upon the calligraphy school because Jet Li comes to a school to uh, commission a painting so he can see Broken Sword's technique. Because he sees, believes that if he, if he has the 20th technique uh, of writing, of, of drawing the, oh, co- right. the, the yeah, uh, yeah. symbol sword, he'll be able to discover his pers- his actual swordsmanship technique. So they're at the school and the, and the emperor's so armies cool. attack as they're, as they're at the school with a ball, like a huge volley of arrows. And... As the arrows are falling into the class, that the class freaks out. But the teacher comes into class and says, "Like they can, they, they might defeat us, they might destroy our city, but they'll never destroy our our, our our written type, our written word." So he gets back and he goes to his position at the front of the class, sits down, and just starts just drawing. Yeah, resumes. At, yeah, cal- resumes doing, calligraphy. Yeah, and all the students join him. Like some are getting hit by arrows and they're fall they're they're, they're yeah, falling on their desk. The like, like, <laughs> I'm dead serious. Yeah. I was yeah. looking she for I was looking for a brutal death and yeah. she got murked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but welcome to but a murder. Just, in the in the adversity of this flurry of hundreds of thousands of arrows coming through the wall, they're just sitting there continuing their work and it's just so so powerful. See, and it's funny because um I when I saw that, I was like, my brain was like, that's stupid. Why are they doing that? Like I, I heard that in my mm-hmm. brain, and then I'm like, no, no, gotta remember. Yeah, it's all in the culture and honor and, to them because, yeah, because yeah, <clears throat> there is that cultural gap that you have to remind yourself. Yeah, it's like it's essentially the concept of I'd rather die on my feet than stay on than live on my knees, kind of. Thing. Right. Yeah. Totally. Just, in the face of adversity, they're they're still continuing on as if nothing has changed. How about the uh, fighting, huh? The uh, like the the wire work. The wire work was well, fantastic. It was fucking cool, huh? Okay, I have one thing to say about the calligraphy and um, the swords. I thought it was interesting um, how they were talking about. Uh, at one point, there will be no other words except one word, less confusion. I believe he said the emperor said. So I thought it was interesting that they were proceeding to write. Not only for the sake of like honoring culture, but for the idea of like their written word. And that could oh, be something yeah, that yeah. you guys touched on vaguely and I may not have picked up, but I thought it was interesting that they're writing all these words, but it's like his his whole point is to remove all the different individual nations and make it one unified spoken word. Yeah. And I think it's interesting also that the calligraphy is like, let's say, sword fighting technique. And then, of course, in order to conquer all of this, you would need swords. So, like, the whole oh, yeah, okay. pen is mightier than the sword kind of thing. That whole juxtaposition. That's all That's I wanted true. to say about the calligraphy. Was there 19 different ways of writing because of the different uh, sections? Of... Most likely. Oh, okay. Is what, um, the ga- what, I, what I gathered from that. That's really That's cool. so interesting. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, the fighting... They, uh, yeah oh my god like, it was like the way they would just hold a pose as they're just being pulled across yeah. a set on, on yeah. a skateboard yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> at one point they were just like it looked like they were running and then rollerblading <laughs> like, <laughs> they just stopped and the whole background was moving but they were at the same height yeah. and i was like it was total it was total anime like it was total like well that's that that's just, the style for just for, moving for, that's the style for ooh ha. Is to make it very over the top. Who Who there? Who who that? (laughs) But but yeah, they'd be um, not just like clashing swords, like you were saying in that one scene where they're like they're telling a story with all their with all the fighting, yeah, dipping the swords like a calligraphy pen. (laughs) Get it? You fucking get it? You fucking assholes? (laughs) Fucking get it? uh, No, they. uh, um, I, I really like the the leaf scene. Just... Oh, the two women fighting! Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. 
where there's two uh, stage hands on the side with leaf blowers. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's just dumping just barrels. And, and, and mind you, this fucking... entire mind you, this entire retelling because it's part of the first the first story. Still, it has been all of the sets have been red to go along with the red coloration that they've been wearing. But this is the, for the first time. It's the entire set is yellow. Yeah, it's gold. They're yeah. wearing gold. red, and then they're, they're yeah, still wearing right. red to, on the jux. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, on right, exactly. To go with the theme. But yeah, yeah the entire set is yellow. Do you think it's um I, I could be reaching, but this is just the <laughs> the schooling in me. Red and yellow, the fire, the anger that the uh the characters are feeling because it's all a lie that he's dead, and so you've got the mistress and the actual lover and they're fighting and so you've got the red on them and then the yellow of the leaves constantly blowing, it just looks like, you know, it could be fire. Yeah, like, yeah. like I think. Although I wouldn't, uh, the only the only thing is I wouldn't really consider her a mistress because she is the. Well, they uh, called appre- her mistress. She's an apprentice. Yeah. Okay. She's, a, she's Broken Sword's apprentice, and he, he in a in a series in a series of passion, uh, that night he, laid plows. With her. He did not. Wow. Yeah, it wasn't so much like he was having an, a romantic affair or anything. It was just that's his apprentice. She she looks up to him, kind of thing, and he was very. Mm-hmm emotional at the time yeah, yeah. the red mm. right yeah when she <clears throat> no, says I some think... badass line she's like if you want to die i can help you yeah yeah that's, we're all, that's like, when she cut yeah that's when she cuts Bitch is serious <laughs> <laughs> super fucking serious but no i think that definitely all goes to red because yeah. one it's a lie yeah but everything's really fiery in that yeah. too like yeah. like the, the, you were the saying the whole way that like, he, that he <laughs> tricks them into it is making them too passionate right yeah Fire is passion. No, totally. They're all super passionate, <laughs> super angry. And, uh, and I, I would say it's safe to say you're not reaching, James, because this movie was a lot of symbolism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there's totally. a good chance I'm not, I'm not undermining the director. He's like, no, what a fucking idiot. Of course it's fire, <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> because the director's Stupid from Brooklyn, fucking white also. boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, he could be. Uh, you racist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm. I'm not. <laughs> All right. Anyway. All right. Let's keep a good pace. Um. May I say my favorite scene? Yeah. What's your favorite scene, James? <laughs> what <laughs> is it? We want to know. <laughs> I'd have to say the um. Like the as worst much one. As it, Sorry. As much as no. As much as I loved the um reflective water pool, uh, fighting above the um. Not tomb, but the. The resting site, yeah. the resting place. It was like it was like where where you'd have it awake, where you can do. It's the body. where time and space it's a little meet. Viewing area <laughs> before they bury the body. Right, right. And um, they're dancing across the water, and it's beautiful. But it was it was also comical because they were doing like, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, they're doing their key like, eyes, yeah. But of course, John was like, it's like a fantasy, and I totally get that. But I loved the black and white scene. To me, oh, it was were they, just were they it, picturing the, the yeah fight? the one that Dude, yeah the yeah. Josh yeah man that that was my favorite. I thought it was really no, that's well still done. An amazing scene. Anytime I see black and white introduced into a film seamlessly, you know, to the point where I was like, you guys remember the black and white scene? And you're like, oh, yeah yeah yeah. Like yeah, you, you completely forget. Completely agree. Yeah. But it, it's seamless and it serves a purpose. Like anytime you go from color to black and white or black and white to color, it has to serve a purpose. Wizard of Definitely. Oz. Definitely. Wizard yeah. of Oz will yeah. always be my number one reference. It oh, has to true. serve yeah. a it does fucking it perfectly. purpose. It does it perfectly. It absolutely does it perfectly. Yeah. So much to the point that at the end of the film it bookends with mm-hmm. it black and white mm-hmm. again. Oh, yeah. I had this dream. And you, you were there. there. You were there. And you were there. Yeah. And Scarecrow. you were there. Why and this we, why, fucking why were you giant red-headed dream? potato was in office. <laughs> <laughs> Just, anyways. So, yeah, that was my favorite scene. I thought the green scene was interesting. I even made a joke when we got to the green scene. I was like, they've really touched on every Power Ranger color. <laughs> but at the same time, it's like color is used specifically in film yeah just yeah. like I was except for the black and pink ranger so. <laughs> well they had the black and white so there's the oh except for the pink ranger <laughs> check your facts check, check your facts i believe there's one actually the soldiers actually had on pink. the pond where there's where there's a uh, there's a little cherry blossom tree so there's yeah. pink in the movie yeah. check your facts. now you guys are reaching and how about yeah. how about you how about, how about you give me hey, a reach could, around hey could, could, could you each do one thing for me real quick what okay 
check your priv. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one sec. Let me do that. Wait, how do I do that? <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to do My watch is broken. I grab Does, my phone. Do you need a watch but I for don't. it? <laughs> do you need a watch? Um, okay. I don't think you're privy to that information. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I am gripping my thigh with hilarity. <laughs> okay, um I am also gripping James's thigh <laughs> with hilarity. With hilarity and a little bit of sexual nature. Right. Uh, <laughs> sexual healing. <laughs> okay, um Ooh, yeah. Does anybody else have anything else to say about the film? I thought it was I thought it was phenomenal. I'll yeah. say that. It's kind of barren. <laughs> Other than that though, it's Barren. Uh, no, it was fucking amazing. I loved it. Yeah, I can't remember uh, if it got some Academy nod. Go ahead, John. I'm sorry. Oh no, it's cool. Um, absolutely amazing. One of my favorite films of all time. Two out of ten. Two out of ten. <laughs> Two out of ten. <laughs> oh, golf rules. Got it. <laughs> wow. No, let's check it to see if it got any Academy nods. And best, also, best uh, foreign. Feature? Also, fun fact: Possibly. the uh, the uh, director actually is from Brooklyn. His name is. Uh, Zhang Yimo Yimo. Shut up. He's from Brooklyn, Xi'an, <laughs> Shenyaxi, China. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a jab. That's what a jab. Jip. You're uh, jipping me. You're driving me. I might be. I might be pulling your pulling your sausage there. You might be pulling our sausage. Might be pulling your sausage there. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, you said I might be japping you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it was nominated. It was it was only nominated for best foreign foreign language film because it lost to Chicago. Oh, oh no. Oh, wait, it no, lost that's, to no, wait, Chicago. <laughs> I love Chicago. Fucking kidding me. I love Chicago. That's no, a good movie. No, I actually seen it. that that, that was that was that was a joke cuz Chicago won best picture that year and it wasn't nominated for best foreign language film because Chicago is not a foreign language film. Oh, but, obviously. Uh, but, <laughs> but, but it does fit under but, but comedy one or thing musical. That, one, that, one thing that should insult you is that Chicago won that year over for best picture over Gangs of New York. What Oh, the really? Fuck? I haven't yeah. seen that in a hot minute. Yeah, but you've seen that over, over Chicago. <laughs> yeah. Let me take that again. Marker. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this is good second take, yeah. <laughs> fuck fuck um <laughs> fuck no that that says something that you've seen gangs of new york over chicago yet chicago won best picture right yeah, yeah. Right. i'm not you know, watching you're chicago and everything <laughs> <laughs> no i'm saying chicago's, chicago's really chicago. is it good let me take that one again <laughs> marker <laughs> chicago is really good Oh, I've been okay. to Shy Town. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Shy Town. Oh, Shy like guy. guy. <clears throat> well, if so you guys, yeah. do y'all want to segue into the next one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The oh, uh, yeah. speaking this, of Shy Town, this is. Uh, I, don't th- I don't know if Child's Play takes place there, but I know it's a city. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The uh, uh, Rachel picked uh, Ch- Child's Play. That is correct. And. Uh, um, Child's Play. I want to note that yeah. that not Chucky. It's called right. Child's Play. Child's this, Play. This existed it's before just like, the franchise of Chucky, and that's all I've ever known. Right. It's, it's also kind of like how uh, Hellraiser. Yeah. In, in, the, oh mo- in, in the movie Hellraiser, is always get gets mistaken for being named Pinhead, and clearly his name is Hellraiser. Oh my God. What I love. His name is Pinhead. No, it's Hellraiser. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. No, it's. You honestly confused me for a second. It's like, no. <laughs> Get your facts straight about a terrible movie. From okay, the 80s. Hellraiser is amazing. <laughs> Hellraiser is amazing. It's okay. As okay, it's I not terrible. Child's, as it's, much as I love Child's pick- Play, yeah, Hellraiser is better. Oh, Hellraiser. definitely. Hellraiser right far, better. yeah. But um, you were saying, you were saying about Child's Play. You were getting us into it, and uh, I, I steered us yeah, off. I guess, okay, I'll, summar, I'll summarize the plat. Yeah, give it, so, uh, give it to us. So, uh, it's about this uh, criminal. Who, Hurry up already. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Spit it out. It's about this criminal who's, who's dying, and he does a voodoo ritual that puts himself in this very popular uh, doll. Good uh, guy's doll. A good guy's doll. Makes sense. And already. then he gets sold to a uh, an unknowing mother in a back alley uh so not sketchy at all um she and was it, like do you have any band-aids too i need 
I'd hate to stop by CVS. <laughs> I need medical supplies <laughs> from a crackhead. Uh, so he, she gives the doll to her son on on his his boy day, and then <laughs> his boy day, and then it turns out the doll is alive because it has the criminal in it, and hijinks ensue, and then um, and who yeah. sues who? No, hi, <laughs> I forget <know>. it. <laughs> Classic hijinks. No, Josh, like the, don't like, leave. Like remember oh, that. God. Remember the I'm funny slapstick bit. part. Same. Remember that funny slapsticky part where the uh, the best friend and slash aunt gets hit in the head with a hammer and falls out of a, it's a child's out of a hammer. window. Yeah, that was funny. That was so that so would not so happen. St- such such hijinks. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, stupid but, cunt. Yeah, you, you stupid bitch, you filthy slut. That's my you favorite. You filthy slut. That's my favorite scene in the movie, but uh, but yeah. So that's the basic plot. Yeah. But um, and it spawned fifteen sequels. Yeah, so. it's unnecessary. Yeah, I, I did that. Yeah, it's I cool. took it off. Did she? Oh, I, th- I yeah. thought she. Met, I thought she. Uh, Tom Cruise her way out of it. <laughs> she pulled a a Hansel for the- from Zoolander. <laughs> that Hansel's so hot right now. For the folks at home, we uh, removed <gasps> a piece of clothing from the dog. Yeah. And John was confused. She's by that. naked now. Josh is declothing my dog. <laughs> you, you know what? Please leave. Okay. <laughs> Do you, hey, no, stay, hey, no, hey, I'm hey, leaving. Hey, James, 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 look at me. Uh-huh. Do you want your do- dog to make it in this business? Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> He's me tooing your dog. Okay, um, so yeah, let's get into some. Let's get into. Okay, first the doll looks fucking terrifying by itself. Okay. Yeah, it's already creepy when right they, off the bat. When they do the animatronic for Chucky, I love it. Like his faces. I mean, his the faces he makes. Yeah. Like like all his eyebrows and lips moving and nose flaring. It looks so fucking great. I'm yeah. Like, That's what I like. When it's just sitting there, like. Yeah, with its mouth open. Yeah, for those yeah, that you staring. can't see, I'm just sitting here like I look like a sex doll. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so um, ah, uh, uh, um, you always those look were, like those a doll to me. And I want oh, Jesus sex Christ! You. <laughs> that explains the sleepy root beers you give me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it looks it looks boring. But whenever he goes into filthy slut mode, that shit is hilarious. <laughs> like his slut his mode. face, like him, his head turning around. And he's slut like, "You filthy activating. slut!" Yeah, like I, that shit is funny. I know. I wish he cursed more in the movie. He should yeah. just been cursing through the whole thing. Yeah, but yeah. For the '80s, that would have been uh, been stupid. I guess they didn't want to. No, they cursed in kids' movies in the '80s. Yeah, but it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't like constant cursing. I think the critics would have given it bad reviews because it's kind of like a teen screen. Oh movie. yeah, it's too schlocky. I yeah, say, like, like the thing got bad reviews. Well, like, for a slasher film, kidding? this one not that great. Um, Freddy Krueger yeah. is a better yeah. uh, slasher film. Especially I, for teens, yeah. Mm-hmm. I love I love the whole kid perspective and hearing the whole, like, when his feet are running and stuff. Like, it's yeah. really cute. I'm, like, cute in the sense of, like, that's really creepy. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's no, charming that mean. they add yeah. the sound effect because you're like, that's what it'd sound like if there was a tiny man inside of a doll <laughs> running around my house trying to kill me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, filthy slut! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, so, totally. I'm gonna tie your shoes together. <laughs> so, like, so, but uh, he doesn't do that. Um, but he kills. The first kill is pretty lame. She falls out the fucking window, and it's like all dramatic. And yeah, he should have bludgeoned her to death. Yeah, I thought that's what was gonna happen because I've seen bits of other child play. Uh, I feel <laughs> movies. Excuse me, child's play. Child play is a different movie I've been watching. <laughs> what? Uh, so. <laughs> Uh, yeah, th- right, right here, officer. <laughs> right here, right here. Uh, well, lock me up. Mm. I'm guilty for loving kids. Uh, yeah, that's what that's what a pedophile says. Just this is grave. They just said that. What am I saying? Okay, oh okay. But anyways, the first one's pretty horrible. Yeah. It's lame. Yeah, but, I can um, think. I can think of why they would have done it though, instead of having her bludgeon it, because there's at least like plausible. Um, like the, that, the kid could have done it, so that the police, the police. Oh. That's what I was going to segue into. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. it was true. all really yeah. to set up the 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 idea the that the boy was killing, which would have been way. Cr- yeah, w- turn it into what a if- thing where it's not even like Chucky's not even real. Yeah, it's just in the kid's head. Yeah, the whole like God, do not this, blah, 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 like the guy chanting and stuff didn't work. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He just the kid got a doll. 
And it wasn't cursed. And it's like the whole time he actually is killing. That would have been really fucking interesting. Oh, yeah. That's a different. That's That's what they should have done with this Child's Play remake. The new one. They should have done that. That would have been cool. Totally fucked it. Completely fucked with everybody. But that's ballsy. Yeah, I've got balls. I'm saying that's like, (laughs) that's, that's not safe. Child's Play remake, when you're remaking a franchise that's already a known franchise. Yeah. They're trying to make. Absolutely. They know what they want. Make Chucky kill f- five to six people. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure there's fucking tits, too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there were no tits in this, unfortunately. Because uh, it was a children's movie. <laughs> oh, that was definitely a children's movie. <laughs> the, uh, but yeah, the remake, uh, um, I've, I've, I haven't seen it, but I've, heard, I've read a little bit about it and watched some videos on it. And As the, have I. The, uh, the, the doll is, is, like, is not alive. It's, <laughs> it's a robot. With yeah, an like, operating system, yeah. and he just—oh my he, god! Can you believe that? Yeah, it's so they, stupid. They made it. They, they were just like technology. See, yeah, the 2019. Like the technology like goes bad. Yeah, and then he uh, isn't that the worst thing well, ever? It's, Terminator. it's fucking stupid. It's Terminator. Yeah, it's. I mean, I, I. It's serious. It's cool that they did something different. I can't believe I'm saying that. That's yeah, not no, but that's all you can. Though. That's the little bit of a respect. I mean, you it's can a different it. premise. Yeah. I guess it's a robot it's serial alive, killer. But, yeah. Let's remake it's stupid. it. stupid. I We'll hate make it, it where the kid's the killer. The kid's the killer the whole fucking time. Yeah, yeah. but you don't know until the end. So another yeah, death is cool. the second death, and Chucky... Uh, why is he called Chucky? Because his, his name, name is Charles, Charles Lee okay. Ray, and that Charles, Chucky's his nickname. Yeah. Okay, Char- Ray Charles. Okay. His, um, Ray Charles, and they call him Chucky. Yeah. General. That's General, General Ray, Ray Charles, Charles. <laughs> No, but um, so Chucky blows up the house of a guy, <laughs> and yeah. this guy is the guy that left him when he was getting shot at by cops, and then inevitably dies before doing his voodoo curse into the doll. Yeah. Um. He blew up the whole fucking house like it was hysterical. We were laughing. Sorry, we're we're a little uh we're coming down now a little bit yeah, <laughs> of excitement. <I'm> <laughs> well, no, it's cool. Yeah, honestly, to say Chucky up. Chucky was fun, but. Hero was way better. I I, I really I really yeah. liked that. So I'm kind of like gearing down because I'm like, well, Chucky had like some great killer scenes. Um, you can only talk so much about repeated perspective. Yeah, like yeah. they they show the I mean, the perspective of him running just, around yeah. at at ankle view. You know, whatever. It's your run in the middle plot. Uh, yeah. The uh, but yeah, I thought it was funny that he took the kid on a bus. To, oh my uh, god! To go to the yeah, guy's to crack house. city. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> and then nobody, <laughs> crack and, and then nobody capital. was like, "Hey, what's up with this kid?" Yeah, yeah nobody on the nobody on the train. Yeah, Chucky took. You know he what? He convinced probably... the kid to go on the bus to this guy's house so he can murder him. That makes no fuck. Yeah. No fucking sense. Yeah, he was like, yeah. He, well, he's been talking to the kid the whole time secretly, telling him shit. But he also Help me. <laughs> he wanted to watch the news really bad. That was yeah, a riveting really scene. Wanted to watch That's why the he news. killed the aunt. What? Well, well, the friend. They <laughs> yeah. call her aunt. That's why he killed her. Because yeah. he wanted to watch. He the wanted news. to fucking watch the news. The news isn't even that great. It's <laughs> yeah. horrible. It was just because they were talking. They were talking about Eddie on the news. Yeah, and I know. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, doing a bit. Oh, I'm a fucking. Idiot. It was a bit. I'm sorry. No, I'm no just, I'm just you're just joking. a great actor, and I was. F- I fell for the. For the <laughs> great actor. I wish I could remember who. Oh my god! I just remembered who he is. He's the hand. He's one of the hands in Lord of the Rings. He's the one that's... Oh, uh, Grim Word Tongue. Grim yes. and Word Tongue. Oh. Yes. Yeah. I just saw his head when I closed my eyes and, you know, pressed yeah. my fingers into my brain. I pushed um, my fingers into my eyes. <laughs> God damn it, so monotone. Sorrow flat. King is a sorrow um, guest. Whenever he blows that motherfucker, is, you're good. He blows that fucker up. I'm trying to think of some other deaths. They weren't that amazing. Yeah, yeah. I really liked any when sort of Chucky, like deaths that really blew me away. Yeah, Chucky is the best part. Like when he gets all fucked up at the end in his head, he's like, "Yeah, he's like, hug me." And his face <laughs> is just like just melted plastic, and it's all green. It's yeah, and, lost he's, its and he's separated from the body, and he's oh like, "Kill him, God. choke him, kill yeah. him." Like he's te- yeah. he's te- yelling at his body. He's, he's talking so to fucking... his body, which doesn't make any sense. It's funny. It's funny. That's why. Okay, yeah. It's funny. I'll give you that. It's cause of joke. It's funny. <laughs> 
we I will say we I had a good time it. watching it. Like, yeah, we were like yeah. laughing, we were and laughing talking it through just, it. I would so. like to watch another child's play. I don't want to get into like child's play for yeah, yeah, yeah. Watching. This one, officer. <laughs> just fuck <laughs> off. I would be interested in watching child's play two and even three. Like finishing out a trilogy, seeing where it goes, because after then it's just like they're just goes moving. off the rails. Yeah, yeah, it goes off the rails. I mean, hell, even by Chucky two and three, verse it's Jason. Going up. <laughs> yeah, even by two and three, it's going off the rails. So I just kind of want to see some more Chucky one-liners because they're really funny. His his face animatronic is really entertaining to watch. Yeah, and then I want to see some cool deaths. Yeah, like, yeah. I want to see some creative. Should stuff. murder some people. Like, yeah, he he got, he got a little boring. What yeah, st- he hits the kid with a bat. That was pretty funny. Yeah, bat. Yeah, he's bludgeons he's, him. He's, he's, he doesn't really like. Yeah, he doesn't really Who kill a lot of people. Who the fuck does he kill? He, he kills he stabs, two people. He stabs the doctor in the leg. He stabs the police officer in the leg. Yeah, Neither I'm going through all die. the acts in my head. And yeah, I'm like, that's true. He doesn't yeah. kill that many people. Yeah, he just kind of like this was eh, very leg shot. Eh, yeah, leg shot. He eh. stabs people that are at his convenient height. <laughs> yeah, which is boring. Uh, yeah. Should stab dudes in the dick. I guess. Yeah, well, there's the problem right there. That's why the series is just a long out, long drawn out thing. It's like you can only do so much. The yeah. first one told it enough. Yeah. So that's why I'm vaguely interested in seeing two and three. Just John, were you with us when we watched Critters? I was not. Oh my I god! I swore you were there. Critters but... is Critters is way better than Critters this. is a fucking gem. It's fucking yeah. awesome. Yes. Yeah, I like Critters a lot. We need to watch the second one too. Actually, we need to watch rewatch the first one so John can see it. Oh, and definitely. Watch I would the love second to watch it. Again. We can do that for like Halloween or something. Yeah. Actually, we got Shark Week coming up. Yeah, which I'm really excited, yeah. guys. Be looking forward for Shark Week. Yeah, Help yeah. us find some shark some, movies yeah, to yeah. watch. Yeah, any suggestions for terrible shark movies? Good we, shark movies? Does that exist? Yeah, yeah. I'm curious. You yeah. guys are excited about that? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, no, oh, okay. I'm genuinely it's our curious. First ever holiday is there, is thing there a that good? Is there a oh. good shark movie? Oh, no. Yeah. I mean, no. Jaws. Well, Jaws. <laughs> Jaws. Okay, Jaws. Jaws. Yeah. Let me think. This is another sh- good, Lucky. actually good shark movie. Lucky number eleven. <laughs> you know, because you know land sharks. Uh, I can't think. Bookies. Of- Atomic Shark was pretty good. Smoke and Aces. Smoke and Aces, another one, yeah. (laughs) Atomic Shark was fun. Do we? I can't remember what the fuck we watched. (laughs) It was so dumb, but it was so much fun. uh, Do we have time to talk about, briefly, talk about any other movies we saw? Well, here, what's, um, um, I'm I'm done with Chucky. Yeah. Like, honestly, he. I wanted to gonna, see him get we wanna, mauled at the we end. Wanna, I mean, obviously, if anybody listening can tell what our picks are, but do we want to make our picks before we talk about any other movies? That's what I want to do real sure. quick. Yeah, uh, let's run through it. Okay. John, John go, oh, ahead. go ahead. Real quick. Uh, Hero, okay. obviously. I mean, <laughs> Josh, it's one of my favorite That's movies. a shocker. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a shocker. And I start, ah! I start fingering Josh. <laughs> Holy shit. Wait, I mean, ah. Oh, I'll get the camera. <laughs> my goodies. My goodies. All right, John. Yeah, so you picked Hero, obviously. Josh, Hero. Yeah, definitely, and definitely me. Uh, guys, everybody, watch Hero. I'm sure most of our audience, people that you know, our students, they they listen to us, and most of the movies we watch and we get feedback. Child's Play is something definitely everybody has listened to or uh, watched. That's listening to the podcast. They'll more that's than likely true. know everyone's that. seen it. Yeah. Yeah. That being said, please do yourself uh, uh, a favor. And have a glass of wine one night and just sit down and watch the visual masterpiece, masterpiece that is Hero. It's very much like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, but instead of muted colors, it's just vibrant. It's it's stellar. It's gorgeous all around. It's like watching a painting turn into a play. And yeah, I completely agree. It's, it's beautiful. So, yeah. Uh, but you guys want to talk about shit. some other movies. I want to hear what y'all want to talk about. What are some other movies? Yeah. Um, are we good on time? We're good. Yeah, yeah we're good on time. Cool. Fuck yeah. Awesome. Uh, yeah. I'm feeling it. Last <laughs> night I watched I Saw the Devil. Which, oh, uh, with Jet Li. Yeah, Jet Li. No. I, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, um, it's, it's got uh, Min Sik Choi, who was in, he was the main character in Old Boy. Oh, Ooh, so yeah, he's yeah, yeah. in it, yeah. and I really like him. And uh, I really like him, too. Yeah, he's fucking awesome. Um, Wait, Josh Brolin's in this? <laughs> yeah, Josh Brolin. And this is the same and... actor from Snowpiercer and The Host, right? We're t- you're talking about that Korean oh, actor? Oh, he's in uh, The Host, isn't he? Yeah. I didn't like The Host. Everyone likes it's The Host. It's all right. Yeah, it's, it's all right. It's not that good. It's all right. Everyone calm down about The Host. Yeah, it's <laughs> okay. okay. It's okay. 
<laughs> it's because it's foreign. Everybody yeah. puts it on like an extra one or two yeah, points because get, it's get, foreign. You're yeah. like, it's yeah. not a good movie. But, but it's, it's story we've um, seen. But yeah, I saw The Devil. Um, it's about uh, this this guy, this uh, police officer. His wife gets murdered in a truly awful way by a... Uh, I'm not going to go too in-depth because you guys haven't seen it and I want us to all see it sometime. But uh, he gets he gets murdered by this... Um, this this serial killer and um she the wife right sorry yeah the (laughs) wife gets murdered by this serial killer and um and he hunts him down and he just he you know he wants to get revenge and he he goes to kill the serial killer but he has this other idea where instead he he breaks his wrist and puts money on his chest with the intent to to hunt him down and continuously maim him over wow. a period of time. So he puts this tracker in his in his stomach so he knows where he's at at all times and he can hear him speak. He gives him a whole bunch of money and he just proceeds to let him go, hunt him down, hurt him, and keep doing Jesus that. Jesus Christ. And it's fucking awesome and... Yeah, I watched some of the some of the movie through my like my hand over my face cuz it was oh, wow. so horrifying okay. some of it, but but um, that's I think that's all I want to say because I want us to all watch it and it's that sounds it's really very good, yeah, I'm really tasty. excited to see it's it. balls to the wall horror. I really want to like, see it. I love if walls. If we don't see yes. that soon, because <laughs> yeah. that's on my list. It's Paul like, to the wall list. horror. Yeah, Paul, yeah. yeah. You're saying you're <laughs> you're interested in it. Yeah, I'm yeah. super interested in that. Yeah, yeah, that'll be fun to to, to watch. Would say you, John. Do you have any movies you've seen recently? Yeah, I saw the Sisters Brothers last night. Oh. Nice, oh, cool. With, yeah, with John C. Riley. James, and yeah, Joaquin James Phoenix. hasn't seen this yeah, I want yet. To see that oh, yet. dude, um, it is fantastic. Yeah, I don't. So I don't, I've heard. Real though. Yeah. yeah, just just now I heard. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, Josh, you actually told John and I about it, and then John, you've actually seen it now. So yeah, I'm been the last... slobbing sisters, brothers, knob. Yeah, it's. Yeah. Well, it's you've a... still got to see Hateful Eight. Yes, I do need to see Hateful Eight. Yeah. That's no denying just it. Just watch that tonight. Just watch Guys, all 17 just, hours of it on Netflix <laughs> time now. Yeah, night. Yeah. But, uh, hey. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm going to watch it soon, though. I need to I need to watch it soon. I mean, I'm already, like, such a big fucking Tarantino fan anyways. Yeah, you it's are a like, big asshole. I know. Wait, would you say? <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> What's the difference? <laughs> Sorry, minor tangent. We're all gonna go see Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Hell yeah! Oh fuck yeah! It's Absolutely. out in like a week. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like ten days the, from now. Twenty sixth. So. Minor other minor tangent. I was born on the same date as Tarantino. Oh really? On another tangent, yeah. <laughs> tangerines sound like tangent. <laughs> on another tangerine. The more you know. <laughs> On a blar blar hag mark bizane dome pranga deconstruction of a joke words words joke. <laughs> but okay. Yeah, sisters brothers. Yeah, yeah you were yeah. saying. But um, so it takes place in 1851 Oregon. Whoa, spoilers. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> and they are just the most badass. They, like, they look badass. They are some badass motherfuckers. Well, if we can bring it yeah. back around to Chicago, John C. Riley was in Chicago, and he is a phenomenal actor. Fantastic Stop talking about actor. Chicago! <laughs> <laughs> Please, get that stranger out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that, there's Somebody so... Somebody alert talk the coppers. about the 1996-1997 Chicago Bulls. <laughs> I'm talking about Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Scotty is Pippus. <laughs> Scotty Denny, is Pippus. Denny the Worm Scotty Roddy. Scotty Pippus Maximus. <laughs> but no, Luke uh, Longley. But Tony yeah. Kukoc. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Sisters this Brothers. This is an episode of Scooby-Doo. <laughs> they're, uh, uh, they are badasses. They're yeah. low-key badasses. Yeah, they are. Um, like, they're Essentially, they work for this man named the Commodore without giving away too much information. They work for this name, dude named the Commodore as like... It's this is these collectors, right? When they need things hand, when he thing needs things handled, they, they send handle them out. Oh, the yeah. repo man. Uh, mm, they're more of assassins, but what is that jingling noise? Oh, oh that's my keys. keys. Was, that's one of my but keys. Uh, stop jerking off, John. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But yes, yeah, S- Sisters <laughs> Brothers was. <laughs> I need to make eye contact to finish. 
<laughs> Sisters Brothers I'm looking was at uh, directed by a, f- a French director. Yeah, he's he's from what France. What does he know about the I Wild know. West? <laughs> and he, it's so I know that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, for real though, because <laughs> yeah. you were thinking that. But he definitely, he's definitely <laughs> said shit. But you know, he definitely like, did his homework and he got some dude. He's great. Like, he made the most accurate western yeah. I've ever seen. Yeah. Like it feels fucking real. Don't I, roll your eyes at me. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just, rolling my eyes at my own reaction, like because I was just giving you shit because like. Uh, but he got some makes great, <laughs> some great actors. I mean, Ang Lee did fucking Brokeback Mountain, that Oscar-winning film. He made that? Yeah. I, I, I was looking at Ang Lee's uh, filmography. You know that? No. I was looking yeah, at Ang Lee's filmography the other day. The made Brokeback yeah. Mountain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ang Lee's Oscar-winning film. Ang Lee's the director of Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. And Mission Impossible 2. Like he's, yeah, we all he's know that. all <laughs> over the board. Oh, no, that's fucking... He's all over the board. The he also guy. did... Um, the he also did. Uh, it's his I name. don't want to. It's not. It's not. It wasn't, it. Pre- it wasn't Pride and Prejudice. It wasn't Pride and Prejudice, but it's not something like that. <laughs> the second he said it the first time, I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna say zombies." <laughs> he did. He did. Same se- thing. He did, did Sense and Sensibility. Oh, oh that Scorcher, <laughs> that powerhouse. Scorcher I'm just two. saying. I'm saying. I'm saying more so his his range as a director. That's true, the man. Variations of films that he's done. Life of Pi. Like, that's so different from, like... Life of Pi. Yeah, yeah. Life of Pi is fantastic. Is it good? Love it, it looks pretentious. It's one of the like, few... Oh, guy with a tiger in a boat. Well, I see, hate that it it's based off of a novel. It's based off a novel. And a great novel at that. Like, I don't want to I don't want to spoil it, it. But it's the spoil novel, the novel called... I've seen the movie. Okay. Dude <laughs> with a tiger in a boat? Is that what the I mean, novel's called? Yeah. Well, I mean, okay. I'll, I'm going to spoil it so you can appreciate it for what wait, it is. Wait. Because the wait. whole thing... Okay. Wait, is do, it? Do you actually have interest? Because the, 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 the tiger is not. It's if a whole you're, thing. if you feel the need to spoil it, to kind of, I actually do want to see it. Okay, now. yeah, check out Life of Pi. Okay, it's cool. Worth it. Okay, cool. Because that's out. one of the few movies where I've actually like read the book beforehand. Oh, really? And it holds up pretty well. No shit. Okay, yeah. cool. Okay, I'll watch it. Yeah. Ang Lee, um, when directing Life of Pi at the Oscars, it was nominated for Best Cinematography. And I didn't watch the movie for the longest time because it won for best cinematography and most of the film is CG. And so I, I was, hate that. I was kind yeah. of insulted for the sake of camera operators and Dude, why does that keep happening? Gravity like key grips. Like, you know, like why people does this that keep go happening? into the art of light and lenses <laughs> and knowing how to set the tone and pace of camera movement, you know, just all of that important stuff. And like not saying that Ang Lee does not have an eye for film. Obviously, they do. I'm saying it kind of sucks when you're setting up an entire shot for a boat, and the only thing that's real is the boat and the boy, and everything else is green screen, green screen padding for the water, I and then agree. there is a green puppet being uh, manipulated by a man in a green suit to give reference for a CG tiger that will be put in later. So I was really right. insulted Blue. by that. So, huh? Blue. Blue. It was a blue screen. Oh, it was, oh, fuck you. <laughs> but no, like, seriously, like, cinematography so I, I put, is, I put like, so many off. things. Yeah, as you guys know. Like, it's, it's camera movement. It's very it's important. It's lighting. It's blocking. It's so many things. So then when you do most of that with a computer, it's kind of, like, it's, doesn't count, in yeah. my opinion. It's, the whole, it's the whole charm is the achievement of doing it in camera. Like, right, how, yeah. do you, how do you manipulate reality, like, to make it a fairy book? 98.9 percent of gravity is done with a computer i'm making up that statistic but seriously oh, don't, no, worry, that's don't worry 95 percent of all statistics are made up on the spot <laughs> right yeah yeah 100 no. percent of the time right exactly <laughs> now that i'm confused i was just saying that yeah just going off what you said it's, it doesn't fucking count and that one best cinematography yeah by people that smoke crack <laughs> really i don't i don't know that's the academy wow Wow. Some crazy judges, um, no, but um, <clears throat> that put me off. <laughs> that put me off the film really hard, and then I finally sat down and I watched it, and it's a really, really inspiring story. It parallels kind of for me. It parallels the story Old Man in the Sea. Um, oh, Life of Pi. You're talking about. Yeah, uh, okay, and yeah. it even a little bit of um, Castaway in a sense of just like 
Wow, there's a man with a tiny penis driving a vehicle outside. <laughs> he just, um, he's just a big fan of Castaway. When you mentioned it, he's just like, I gotta rev my engine for that. Tom Hanks is a treasure! <laughs> <laughs> um, he pees in every movie! <laughs> he pees in every movie. <laughs> <laughs> There's Tom some Hanks piss in my boot. <laughs> um, no, but um, so it put me off. But nonetheless, it was very much like um, Lord of the Flies, just the way man can survive against nature and the kind of spiritual journey that he has uh, with himself and with any human can have within themselves when they're what they're capable of when put to a limit. So I, the story is very amazing. I, can, uh, I, I thought of one good thing that doesn't uh, doesn't really spoil it. The tiger thing is not pretentious. His family is actually like they own a zoo and they're moving across the sea. Yeah, that's oh, okay, that's one cool. thing yeah. that caught me off guard. Yeah, it opened with a freighter and there's animals and I was like, oh my god, it's a zoo. Wow, well, like I totally took this for like a period piece. So yeah, and we bought a zoo. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's my last. Talk joke. about sinker. <laughs> that's all I got. Uh, <laughs> no, um, but we were talking about. Sisters, brothers, and then we sidetracked yeah. onto Ang Lee, and then how Ang Lee, who did Mission Impossible two? Who does the doves? The doves guy. Oh, John Woo. John, John Woo. Woo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah not Ang Lee. Yeah, I'm a racist. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Quote Josh on that. Josh said that. <laughs> Josh Wells. Josh Wells. <laughs> I can't even fucking. <clears throat> I'm choking on my own goddamn words and lie. <clears throat> But yeah, Sisters, brothers is just yes. Forgive me. Absolutely phenomenal. I need to check piece. it out. Definitely, like Josh was saying, the best modern western I've seen. As far as modern westerns go, that's that's it. Yeah. It's kind of the pinnacle, man. Yeah. Like, see, I want to see uh, Hell or High Water because I hear that's a modern western. Fucking amazing. <laughs> I, I know. I don't, I don't want to get a sidetrack because yeah. I too watched a movie. Fuck, we need to watch Hell yeah. or High Water next week. And uh, I just also want to point out Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal puts on an amazing performance in Sister Brothers as well. He does. I yeah. had no idea he like, was in that. Yeah. Spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know he was in. Honestly, it was one of those. Moments Let me guess. Like, he's what? in the new Jake Spider-Man Gyllenhaal movie. Was in yeah, movie. for real. I yeah. bet he's in the new Spider-Man movie. <laughs> I don't give a uh, fuck about but yeah, that like, Spider-Man. It's just funny to me. It's just funny to me because I the first thing I'd ever seen him in is fucking Bubble Boy, and to think that fucking oh my God, Bubble Boy yeah. is putting on such a good accent, like what the fuck? Oh, yeah, dude, Jake Gyllenhaal is good, man. Yeah, he's, no, yeah. he's a he's a phenomenal actor. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm just, I just, it's, I'll always have associated with Bubble Boy, and it'll always be weird to me because it's just yeah. like. Bubble Boy is doing this. Yeah, he did oh, an totally, incredible yeah. accent in Bubble Boy. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> he really sounded like he was in that bubble. Um, oh, it's complete man. CG. Uh, no, I I saw a film recently. Rachel, What'd you see? Rachel and I last night we saw. I believe it was a Swedish film. Sweden. Sweden film. Um, oh yeah. Okay. Lots of lots of Bjorns. Lots of Midsommar. Storm Bjorns. Uh, yes, yeah, very Midsommar. <laughs> Um, <laughs> what was it called? It was called The Ash Lad and The Hall of the Mountain King. Ash Lad and The Hall of the Mountain King. That's the and whole title? Hall of the Mountain <laughs> okay. King is um, the song that goes... Yeah. And they played that. And it was wonderfully used. I, I remember that when that song came on, I was like, I really like this song. I know I, I know a little bit. I want to finish learning it on guitar for Christmas. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. But yeah, what was the movie about? Um, Well, let me just say that Ash Lad comes from um, an old an old term which I believe I'm I'm gonna butcher this because I don't have my phone on me. Um it's um Askladen. So it's um which meant uh which was like the hero of the story. And it was very specific on the guidelines of this of this character. They were like always the underdog, wins in the end, gets half the money and lands. <laughs> and I was like and gets the princess. Yeah, that's really That's specific. literally what it said for this character type, and that's what he's called throughout the movie. But his name is Espen. He has P E N, and then he has Pal and Pear, which are his brothers, which are yeah. of course doofus-like characters that are easily fooled. And of course, throughout trials and stuff, they learn that his their brother is actually very special, and he is very important to the world that they are in uh, as well. And there's this princess that's going to be married. And if she is not married, this is the tale now. 
of the actual story. If the princess is not married by her 18th birthday, the mountain the mountain troll or the mountain king. So it's like a fantasy film. It's a fantasy film, okay. and it's beautiful. Like all the greens are like Lord of the Rings. Like Ooh. yeah, I was thinking as we were watching it. Like even though it's um, it's a uh, English dub. Like and you're watching their mouths, and oh, so like you're watching. God, yeah. It's really funny because some of the characters say really like outlandish things, but then their mouths are moving differently. So like, um, that makes it even funnier. <laughs> yeah. To have somebody's like, I yeah, hate I rest- I killed yeah. and I choked a bear Unless- with my bare hands and stuff, and but his mouth is like, I'm like just not saying those words, <laughs> and it's so funny because they're so uh, they're so about themselves. Yeah. Anyways, so. The princess runs away because she doesn't want to get married to this, you know, this foul piece of turd. And um, so she runs away, but of course it's coming up to her 18th birthday. And so the troll kidnaps her only after running into Espen. And so Espen has it upon himself to go save her or whatnot. And um, okay, yeah, yeah. it was it was, was it really great? funny. Yeah, it was really entertaining. Uh, some of the CG got a little well, okay, wonky. <laughs> really, <laughs> but um, overall it was really fun. It was really cool to see. Uh, let's see, like uh, Beauty and the Beast. Let's say that's an American film. It's really cool to see that type of um, story told uh, by a different, you know, country, a different, yeah. a different culture, and so, so like they're so telling, they're, they're, they're little, telling their little things. There's nuances that are going to exactly differ because it's cultural nuances. You're just intrigued by all of this. It's it's so foreign to you that yeah. I guess that's why I'm getting into anime, and martial arts, like all these different types of things. It's a uh, really fun. Uh, I was just bringing yeah. up the cover on my phone here just to get an idea. It looks like something. Um, the compass. What's that? polar bear movie the golden oh, compass the golden compass yeah something like that <laughs> anyway the polar express <laughs> you're, <laughs> the to- the, you're like zooming you're in about, on troll dick laughing you're talking about the polar <laughs> express <laughs> where tom hanks drifts a train <laughs> <laughs> yeah. one more job it's fucking vin diesel high fives him. one more job um, Tom Hanks drifts a train. Yeah. No, I'm not even <laughs> bullshitting. Does. That actually Have happened. Have you never seen yeah. Polar Express? Yeah, when I was really gas, I gas, gas. I'm gonna step on my gas tonight. <laughs> in a train, <laughs> just <laughs> fucking bending corners. <laughs> and then Asians in skirts just pop out. And they're like... Boom, boom. <laughs> what? Like there's music playing and they're, no, like, your, they're the, shaking their the ass only thing, and the he's only like thing I'm Tom playing. fucking Hanks the, the only thing that I got plays a bunch in the of typewriters sorry John the only thing that plays in the background is Eurobeat <laughs> okay yeah. nom, nom, that, that's nom, the only thing that's nom, acceptable nom, for drifting nom, nom. Um, well, cool, so yeah you know. the Ash Lad that was, that was really charming really fun um, definitely a kid's story uh, yeah if you get a chance to see it, watch this it. Is, this cool. Is it's nothing idea. amazing, but um, yeah. I replaced the audio with my voice. It started deja vu. Is that initial D? <laughs> copyright, copyright. Yes. Just yeah. keep saying the word copyright, copyright, copyright. <laughs> watermark, watermark. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, lad, I, I, I think I think we're cool when it's through the phone because we didn't get struck on the Kenny G that one night. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> Who's going to copyright claim Kenny G? <laughs> Kenny, fuck Kenny G, G doesn't care. Like, <laughs> hey, they're talking about me. Sweetie, get in here. They're talking about me. Yeah, he gets like, off so on pumped. it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I don't have anything else. I think that's it for me on this week. You yeah, man. I think, I think I'm um, good. No, nah, I think we're, we're looking pretty good. You know. All right, all right. Much love. Well, guys, be sure and uh, visit our channel. Um that's Alien Art School on YouTube. Be sure and hit the subscribe and the little bell. That way you get updates as to when we're going live or we're updating videos like Cinema Shatter yeah. Podcast brought to you every Thursday. They know. I know. I tell them all the time. I think I think next week I, I'm hey, just not hey, going to hey, hey, even hey, say it. I hear you talk that work shit. That's cool. <laughs> That's that but cool. that don't mean shit. Cause I don't know you. <laughs> is that a rap lyric? John? That's a that is a uh, that is from J. The, Cole. The, the the great scholar uh, <laughs> Young Jeezy. Oh, oh yes, praise praise be praise Jesus. Be. Oh. Praise be to the snowman. Well, guys, <laughs> tune in next week. Um, actually, since Rachel and John picked this week, Josh, you and I, 
we'll pick next week. And Fuck I think yeah. I already have Fuck something yeah. in mind for us to watch. Ooh, I want to go same genre or something. We can do. Well, let's go to bad movies, huh? Oh, yeah, I'm, go, I'm going picking back bad to movie. bad movies. Yeah. Is what yeah. I'm hearing. Um, yeah, I would love to do a bad movie. Um, but I, we can do a, um, a genre. Sure. If you'd like, let's we do can do action genre. movie, or we can pick a movie specific to a genre and be like, which one is better? You know, that way. So it, like uh, pick a movie specific to a genre. Right, right, right. So like I pick an action movie and you pick a horror movie, and I'm like, oh, okay, sure. And I'm like, well, your horror movie was a way better. Yeah, it might be fun to mix it up for the mm-hmm. night too, so we watch something different. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Well, that's it for me, guys. Oh yeah, as... send us your uh, um, uh, s- suggestions for movies, for, especially yes. shark movies with shark mov- with yeah. shark week yes. coming out. Yes, yeah. right in the comments. Don't fucking text it to us. Like, yeah. right in the comments. Yeah, like, don't say Sharknado. We all know it exists. Yeah, everybody, yeah. everybody's seen Sharknado. I'm trying and to it's pick been something. made on purpose to be shitty. I think and we just send count. And, and also, yeah, just comment any movie honestly that you want us to watch, and we'll hopefully get around to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no, absolutely. We got plenty of. Uh, we have plenty of stuff in it. Yeah. And we've all seen the room. So, yeah. Don't. <laughs> James, <laughs> James farted again. I think we actually already have a shark movie. I'll I'll, t- I'll end this, but yeah, I think we actually have one extra shark movie. Yeah. So we might have to select another. But yeah, we're going to have to we're going to have to get some more shark. Yeah, movies. well, suck a fucking shark dick. <laughs> Not you, John. Huh. The students. Okay. Later, yeah. fuckers. Bye. Bye.